in this video I'm going to be talking about my diagnosis and treatment. Um, after hours of searching on the internet I finally found out that it, it could be mad that I have. Um, and I also, after searching many forums, found out that it was a neurotologist I needed to see and that Dr. Sorinthran, um would be able to help me. So I made an appointment privately to see him um, and I was in a really bad way by, the t by that time. I'd been in bed for three and a half months. I couldn't hardly move. I dragged myself to that appointment. My parents were kind enough to drive me there and I had to drive there half as you know, be driven there half asleep. Um, but I did get there and I saw Dr. Swinfran and he was so kind and compassionate and he was a really nice man. He knew exactly what was wrong with me. Um, it made me feel like I wasn't alone, that somebody understood, which is the first time in, in, a, in, in nearly a year that someone understood how I felt. Um, he told me that my brain had switched from autopilot to manual and that's why I had trouble um, with lots of noise and lots of different noises going on on tones because my brain couldn't catch up with them um, because I was doing everything manually instead of on autopilot. Um, he told me that my um, it, my condition is like a, he said he described it as like a jug, he said that you can keep putting things into the jug, you can keep putting stress and things into the jug and the jug fills up and then one day the jug overspills because it can't take it anymore. Um, he said that 9 out of 10 of his patients that he sees um, have had a very stressful previous 18 to 24 months, which I definitely had. I um, had my daughter, we'd moved house, um, my daughter had an illness, it was quite a stressful time. Um, anxiety, he said that my anxiety was controlled by um, my migraines, um, it controls your depression and anxiety levels and he said that um, my brain can't differentiate between normal um, non-threatening anxiety and say if there was a line in the room I'd have exactly the same feeling as if there was a line right next to me in a room, he said um, my brain um, can't control the level of anxiety, that's why I feel so terrible is because I'm so anxious. Um, so he put me on pregabalin, uh, which is also known as Lyrica, which has been fantastic for me. The day after I started taking it, I already felt a difference. I could, you know, I could stand up straight. Um, it really settled me and really stopped me swaying and rocking. It's fantastic. It wasn't previously used for um, migraine. It was actually an epilepsy drug, but I think it was, um, it's been used quite widely with migraines now with a really good positive effect. Um, he also put me on nortriptyline, which I wasn't sure about at first, which is actually an antidepressant, but which is used as a migraine preventative as well. And and that's been it's been good at a higher dose. I still think I need to increase my dose because I'm not there yet at all. Um, um, I'm still getting migraines and I'm still off balance, but it's way better than what I was. I can actually get out of bed now. Um, I can do things around the house. I can play with my kids. I can do things in my garden. And these are all things that I, I couldn't even imagine doing before. I mean, I was stuck in bed for a long time. So to be able to get out of bed itself is a bonus. I'm, I'm still not there yet, but I'm getting there. Um... So really, this was um, about my diagnosis and my treatment. It's ongoing. It is an ongoing thing. He told me that I didn't get ill overnight, so it's not going to go away overnight. Um, and in my next video, I'll be talking about food triggers and different factors that, that bring on migraines and how you can prevent them. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.